Hello YouTube, today I'll show you a Runic Bestial deck profile uh, which I used uh, this past weekend to uh, to get uh, first place at my locals didn't drop a single game, went 2-0 uh, every single round yeah, it's a good deck uh, if your local doesn't have a uh, majority fire decks, right? if they play old deck like Branded or Light and Dark decks, right? you get to pretty much have a good time on the expense of your opponent having a bad time so yeah uh this is gonna be a quick one i'll just show my list get not too many details but yeah start with the main deck for the runic cards it's uh two fountain that's all you need also it's semi-limited so that's how much you can play three tip uh, searches you any runic card uh Flashing fires, uh, freezing curses is uh, monster negation. Uh, flashing fire is uh, destruction of a special summon monster. So you want to max out on this. Also, you want to max out on the MSD. And also, every one of these uh, search as a special summon for your runic uh, fusion monsters that go in your uh, extra monster zone. Next, the other one you want to max out on is uh, Slumber. So this is the MST and then Slumber is just protection for a monster until the end of this turn. And also is a Banish 3, which is uh, pretty nice, can stack up. Uh, and also two more names, you want to play the Smiting Storm and uh, the Discipling. Just more names, more runic names to special summon, right? And that's it for the runic cards. You want to see these guys as much as possible, right? Then we have the supplement uh, engine, which are the bestials. Two, uh, three Lubelion, uh, two Sireneer, one Magna, one uh, Druid Swarm, and one Bolt Drake. So you play two Sireneer for more access to your Lubelion, and you want to max out on Lubelion because you can just pitch it from the hand and uh, add any one of these. I don't play the bestial Alibur because yeah, I don't usually I'll draw to tuners and as I said, not much fire in my locals, so this even hard drawn are pretty good. Uh and yeah, this will get you access to your uh branded continuous uh, spell and traps, right? Then yeah, talking about that, I do play one regained and one beast. One spot removal after late game because you don't have a battle phase, so the game games tend to be a little longer. So having control with beast, just popping a card during the main phase is pretty good. And the regain is just amazing in this deck. It combines well with your uh, runic cards. Even if you hard draw this and you don't have anything like bestial to banish, right? You can just activate your runic cards, they banish from your opponent top deck if they banish the light or dark, then regain will draw you a card. So yeah, you want to have as much access to this as possible, even without seeing your uh, bestial cards. And then for the tuner part of the deck, I opt to play the Ecclesia, the Swordsfall one, incredible Ecclesia. So it's just main effect is uh, tribute itself, special summon a sword, soul, monster, or uh, fallen of Albas. We don't play the fallen of Albas with that, we just play the golden sword souls. So this guy is the same as Ecclesia, right? He's a level 4 tuner uh, and has a neat effect in the graveyard. When a monster gets banished face up from the field or graveyard, you can banish him and special summon a spellcaster from your hand or graveyard. A light spellcaster which uh, attack equals is defense so pretty much you normal this right activate effect if you're ballsy because if you get ash here then you lost access to a uh, level 4 tuner special this from the deck you have a runic you go for two if you have another runic you go for the uh you go for a uh, coral dragon if you don't have another runic then you go for the triage and draw a card simple as that uh, next, yeah, I do play one Quem. If you don't have access to Quem, uh, you can just play the Bestial Alubur. This is searchable by uh, Lubelion and Magnemut, so you kind of search a tuner 
while this are not searchable. You just have to hard draw them, I guess. Yeah, Quem is pretty nice though, because you can uh, normal summons and either of these and activate a runic special summon from your extra deck. And then her effect will activate and special summon the one you dumped. So you have access to two rather than one uh, level four tuner. And uh, next, uh, three duality. So if you don't have duality, it's uh, kind of hard to play this deck because you want to dodge the Imperm Veiler or whatever target effect they have on your Hugin because having don't have access to Fountain means the deck is kind of dead. You can still play, but Fountain helps the deck a lot by drawing them. And also the banish and draw effect is absolutely insane. So if you want to play this deck, I recommend to pick these cards up because they are pretty good. And then for the hand traps, uh, Ash Blossom depends on your locals, right? You can play three more impactful ones like uh, uh, Droll and Luck, right? Or Nibiru. And also, yeah, I don't expect much fire, right? Because not everybody's playing the NMI locals. So I opt to play Ash Blossom for like the branded matchup. And Rogue is, this card is always good against Rogue. Because against fire, it's like you ash them, you don't stop them, and then you just gave them an extender in your graveyard. So it's not really optimal to play it if a lot of fires are in your locals. Then for the runic uh, fusion monsters, two Hugin, two Gary. Hugin on summon gets you your fountain. Gary gets your fountain from the graveyard, Hugin from the deck. And also Hugin is a protection when a card on your field gets destroyed. So you have uh, ways to dodge uh, destruction effect on your fountain with uh, Hugin. You can also always recycle these guys with the effect of uh, regained. And also gives you more target for your bestials for the matchups that uh, your opponent doesn't play much light or darks. And for the last fusion, uh, it's not the runic horse. Yeah, I don't have that card and I'm not going to spend <laughs> that much money to get that. I didn't miss it that much, but yeah, the, the Alvane or whatever the name is, is just another target for your duality. So Hugin, you activate duality, dodge Imperm or whatever and special summon this. And if you have access to Lubelion, this is a level 2 tuner and Lubelion is level 8, so you have access to your level 10 Synchro that way. Uh, next for Synchros, level 6 is... We play Triage, Malong, and Coral. So Triage, you play uh, even when you don't have just have one Runic and one uh, level four tuner, right? So you just want to draw one, and that's it. Uh, Malong is a target for duality for your bestials, and also when it leaves the field, you get to target a card and bounce it to the hand. Uh, Coral is when you have. Uh, access to level 4 tuner and also uh, 2 runic in hand because you do this with uh, Hugin and a level 4 first on the field going second has another neat effect which is uh, you can discard one and just pop a card on the field uh, then uh, yeah if you have this on field then you activate your second runic uh, spell to special summon Gary he's a 6 tuner and Gary is a level 4 so you just go for your Baron or your level 10 of choice right and when it leaves the field when it was synchro summoned you get to draw a card that's pretty much it and then for yeah one flex spot just the one uh scarlight right you want to have a card that's helpful in time and also just wipes board you can do this with gary and one of your level fours or alvain with one of your bestials make a level eight next uh, ten of choices are this four this came up uh, <laughs> often that I expected but it's pretty good be still this battle just helps you control the game if you already have set up with your regain and uh, beast uh, this guy gets rid of problematic monster that cannot be targeted like brandy plays dragoon now so that's kind of harder for you to uh, deal with dragoon because of the fact that your runic cards cannot target it, your baron cannot target it. 
but this guy doesn't target and you can just banish that guy and baron is also your uh, first level 10 of choice and also it's pretty good because you get to a uh, little knight baron and uh, baron comes back with its effect so pretty cool uh next for the format staples i guess just uh, one little knight and one typhon right so little knight has so many niche effects with regained and baron as i said like you can banish her and baron to dodge something and baron will come back with its uh, negation because baron is once returned while face up on the field uh, also with regain you get to banish her and a light or dark your opponent controls shuffle that with, uh, opponent monster with uh, with the effect of regain and during the end phase only this will come back and your opponent just lost a monster with her effect and then typhon is typhon for difficult situations you just want to uh, enough damage to swing for game right and also bounce for, for Zeus uh, possible situation your opponent just Zeus passed and you just have a monster go typhoon again not activate bounce Zeus and then you protect your fountain or whatever continuous spell you might have yeah uh, so that's it for the deck profile as I said uh, it's kind of budget if you want to call it budget because uh, the optimal will be playing uh, three quem two ecclesia and one source hold but uh, the one golden source hold but uh, either way it did perform well for me when undefeated didn't drop a single game so if you have these cards right lying around and you need some build here it is try it and have fun